So if you're a Samsung user, you know the One UI update is coming pretty soon for the Galaxy S9, the Galaxy Note 9, and of course will be on the Galaxy S10. Now this video is all about what kind of features you're gonna see. I'm gonna list out the 10 best features you will find from One UI on your Galaxy device, and I'll be using the Galaxy Note 9. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now the very first feature is Lift to Wake. Simply picking up your Galaxy device that has One UI, you can automatically unlock your device. What it does is that it turns on and it scans your face. You don't need to use your fingerprint sensor or uh, the uh, iris. Now to activate this, you wanna go into your settings, go to advanced gestures, and go into motion and gestures where you will find the option for lift to wake, which is the top one. And you want to make sure that is actually ticked or activated, turned on as it is now. You can turn it off or turn it on. It's a really nice feature. So improve battery options. Now there are more battery option modes with One UI. You've got um, power save mode, which you can turn on or off, which is something that has been there previously, but now there are four options instead of three. Uh, besides that, you do have a high performance option we're in optimize there's also an optimized option the high performance here basically gives you the best performance use the most battery optimized tries to balance it out and of course you know what power save mode does now there is also a maximum power save mode that will extend your battery life for quite a long period of time so you've got a lot of options for battery management on one ui devices. So accessibility is a very big thing with One UI. The ability to go ahead and access anything you want to using one hand. So you can swipe down menus or different options in your uh, in the settings and also around the device so it's easy to go to any option you want to by using one hand. Now this is clearly seen uh, within the dialer where the dialer options are all below and not on the top, making it easy to access, especially larger devices like the Galaxy Note or the or like the S10 Plus that will be coming out. So it's easy to access all that at the bottom rather than me stretching all the way to the top right-hand corner or top left-hand corner to access any of these menu options. So I do like that with One UI on Galaxy devices. Now you guys have noticed that I've been in dark mode the whole time. The One UI also features dark mode or as they like to call it night mode, which can be found under the display settings. You go in there and you can toggle between night mode or uh, your standard mode. And basically by just toggling and hitting that button, I have it on right now and I can go ahead and hit that and it will toggle back to uh, regular mode. So you can toggle between night mode and uh, and regular mode and this is featured across the device we saw it with the dialer earlier you can go to even the camera and jump into the camera settings and you will find that yes uh, the night mode covers all segments of uh, the device which is nice so it's good to see that then hopefully we see that across more devices down the line so next up is the camera and the camera ui is also changed you can see similar to the rest of one ui most of the mode options are at the bottom swiping through left or right it also feels better less uh chances of error by just mistakenly swiping up to go to the front facing camera so that's the issue i had with the old ui it's much better here I don't I actually deliberately swipe up or down to actually switch, which is nice. Now going into the camera menu, there are a couple of options here, the camera settings, if you will. And in, in terms of the dimensions, you can see it's got dimensions that support the, uh, the notch, if you will. So you've got those notch dimensions built in, so you can actually take photos at 18 five by nine, if you choose to, or 16 by nine. Uh, that's also for the front uh, camera as well. And then video supports that. Uh, as well included so you do have the ability to record at 18 5 by 9 no other options for things like say um, there's options of course recording 4k HDR if you want to uh, I mean 4k 60 if you want to hopefully we'll see HDR with the S10 uh, and the S10 plus or maybe things like recording with bokeh mode as well so hopefully that will be there but the menu system is more simplistic uh, a little more fleshed out and the UI is cleaner here on the camera. Now there are some camera options that will show up on top like Bixby Vision and AR Emoji which are still there and you do have your um, scene optimizer button on the right hand side which you can select and choose. 
Now, not to worry, the edge screen hasn't gone on touch with changes in One UI. So you can easily swipe through different edge screens, but you can tap a button if you have a lot of edge screens to go quickly to something you like, say sports to see, of course, that my Patriots won. Or you can, again, tap to go to something like, say, the weather and check the weather. So it's an easy way to navigate if you have a lot of edge screen options. Uh, and if you use the edge screen, that is a great added feature. So in the past, Galaxy devices have known to have you know, sluggish or slow animations. On One UI, it's much faster, and that's with the help of the ability to turn off the animations themselves. So to do this, you simply go into advanced features, and then you can toggle off uh, reduce animations. So you toggle it on, that reduces your animations. If you toggle it on, that brings animations back, and it provides a much smoother UI experience. Now, this one UI update pertains to Galaxy Note users. It says the ability to use multiple S Pens. What this allows is that if your S Pen is, say, docked into your device, you, or maybe it's missing, you can go ahead and use another S Pen directly uh, without actually having to pair it with the device, which is pretty nice. So all you have to do is go ahead into the S Pen menu and select use multiple S Pens. And so, for instance, I have my S Pen in there, I have another S Pen, and I can navigate with that as well. So it's pretty nice. I've got that ability to use a separate S Pen. Again, this is something specifically tuned for Galaxy Note users. My last feature is a combination of two. First is found in advanced features, and it is smart pop-up view. Basically allowing you to put any application that you have in pop-up view on your um, Galaxy device that has the Samsung One UI. So I'm gonna go ahead and select an application and I'm gonna select the map application for instance, which is pretty easy. So I turn that on and I go out to back to my home screen. And uh, from here I can swipe, go ahead and open up the map for instance and then switch to multitask. When I'm in multitask, I can now select that application for pop-up view and that will actually go ahead and open it up and I have it in a pop-up view. Now the next application, uh, the next uh, feature actually is in sound settings. Uh, going into advanced sound settings and selecting and you can see you have Adobe Atmos for gaming included, which is something you didn't have before. You can toggle it on and off, but it is a really cool feature. So there you have it guys. Those are my top 10 features that I do like in Samsung's One UI. Something you can find on your Galaxy Note 9 or the Galaxy S9 as updates roll out, but you will definitely see on the Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, S10e, and all the variants of the S10. Now, there'll be, there are gonna be more features that are specific to the Galaxy S10 that I am not gonna be seeing right now because I'm using this on my Galaxy Note 9, but I can't wait to see what those features are. Hopefully, we get to see it really soon as we will be checking out the device at the Samsung Unpacked event. So stay tuned to Border Work, where we'll give you a hands-on, we'll give you other different types of videos on the Galaxy S10 series. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.